Hey guys, today I want to talk about uh, sexism in uh, personal health rights. Um, according to uh, Obama, no politician should make decisions about women's health. And this is about abortion. Um, and I don't mean to piss anybody off, but you know, abortion is child sacrifice, human sacrifice. It's about your firstborn. Uh, think about Rump Rumpelstiltskin and the, um, the old story about Rumpelstiltskin. And this is going to lead me into, uh, I mean, first of all, I want to point out the hypocriticalness of this. The, uh, their ability to say, well, it's a woman's right, it's her body, it's her choice. But when it comes to cannabis, you know, only a couple states have said that it's your right, it's your body, it's your choice. The federal government still says you don't have a right to say what you can do with your own body. Um, so you can very clearly see that there's a double standard here. And the double standard is uh, they want you to kill your kids, <laughs> but they don't want you to actually have rights to your own body. And uh, this leads me into a documentary I just got done watching a week ago, uh, Smoking Weed with the President of Uruguay. And in this video, you see George Soros uh, being the head guy pushing for legalization. Of course, I've already covered the uh, Uruguay experiment on GMO cannabis. Why would George Soros be pushing for the legalization of cannabis? Well, if you type in George Soros Monsanto in your search bar, you'll get two links at the very top. Um, it says George Soros and GMO Cannabis Revolution. Um, and you'll find out more information than you're going to get from Vice. Uh, George Soros purchased almost half a million shares of Monsanto. So, he doesn't have a hidden agenda, does he? Um, so this is, uh, again, ringing the alarm for the GMO cannabis that's about to come and the lack of nutrients that will be in GMO cannabis. Uh, I just can't, I can't get over the fact that they keep saying it's a woman's right, it's her body, it's her choice. And then they turn around and say, you don't have a right to your body, it's not your choice, you can't do that. Um, they speak with two heads. They're hypocrites. They have only one agenda, that's reduction of population, human sacrifice, and telling you what you can and can't do with your own body. The only thing legal is killing your kid, but smoking a joint is not, according to the federal government. And that's just the hypocrites speaking with two tongues. And basically what George Soros wants is he wants to take away the only open free market left uh, away from your average Joe Blow and handing it to Monsanto because we all know they're going to use their Terminator gene technology or GERT, G-U-R-T on cannabis making them the only dealer in the world the only access point for your cannabis that's what it's all about it's all about funneling everything. They, they've never had a way to do this before, but now they do. That's why they want to legalize it. Because now they have a way to funnel all the funds right to Monsanto. I think it's time that those buildings <laughs> came down. Monsanto has no business here. They are the enemy of the entire planet. Every species will be affected by Monsanto. It's not just humans. Um, and they know that. That's why they built their seed vaults. And this goes back to a, another video I did on here, but I had to take it down because of a copyright claim. Of course, this is the trailer, which is public domain. Anybody can see this at any time. It's not copyright. They put trailers out so people can see them. So... Thank you, YouTube. Leave this video alone. Um, anyways, uh, in this video, it very clearly explains what they're going to do. And that is uh, causing us to be sterilized by this technology. Because uh, you are what you eat. If you eat Terminator gene food, your kids will not be born. 
you're, you will not have offspring, just like these seeds are not going to have offspring. Um, and they tell you this right in this movie. Because really, since women stop being able to have babies, what's left to hope for? In this scene where he proposes the question of why this is happening, there is nothing but pot plants or cannabis plants behind him. It's so in your face. Listen. The ultimate mystery. Why are women infertile? Some say it's genetic experiments, pollution. Why do you think we can't make babies anymore? Doesn't matter. It's all over in 50 years. It's too late. Move along! Move along! I suggest y'all go watch that video, the whole movie, um, at least the trailer. Uh, you can see very clearly for yourself what's being said. Now, another thing I want to point out while I'm here on the subject is these throwback drinks from Pepsi. I want to thank a friend for pointing this out. Um, the Pepsi throwbacks, uh, you think you're avoiding the GMO corn syrup by drinking these uh, sugar uh, they label it as natural sugar, uh, natural sugar drinks, but in fact, they are flavored with beet sugar. And beet sugar is GMO. Uh, so you're not avoiding anything. You're, you're, in fact, they're probably doing more damage to you with beet sugar than they are with corn syrup because they are after the quote unquote health conscious people. My advice is to stay away from Pepsi, drink as much water as you can, and uh, because they've told you that the next generation is dead. Thanks for listening, guys.